I mentioned that you're single now, but you were with Serena Williams for quite a few years yes. and a, a very tight couple. You, you've since parted ways, but you tweeted when she won the uh, Australian Open recently, yes. a very lovely tweet, and it ended with hashtag greatness is among us. Yes. And you talk about her as a friend, and it's not easy to maintain a friendship once a relationship ends. Yes. You know, for, so how have you done it, and why was it important for you to do that? Well, I have to say, not every ex-girlfriend are, are we still friends, but with some I am, and and she broke she, up with you, right? She is, yeah. yeah we we had a, it was, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, so which make it, it was, harder for you to be a friend? A, but it was kind of eventually a mutual breakup, but she initiated. Yeah, it. yeah. okay. So so, um, it's it's okay though. Like for me, I, I got a um, we got a great understanding, and I care about her as a person. And I think most you know most of the people that I've dealt with in my adult life the women that I've dealt with um, I care about so we can keep that friendship you know it's not like every person you talk to every other day but you know you still have that respect and you have love for them and want to see them do well you know you had said uh, at one point during an interview that maybe you weren't it wasn't the right time for yeah. both of you and maybe now would have been or at some point do yeah. you think if you had started that relationship now maybe things would have worked out differently do you think about that or are you not I, I don't think about that but yeah. I, I do recognize that if we were both at different points at that time, then, it, then the relationship would have been different. But I let the past be the past, grow from the past, and, and stay in the present.